Part 31. We are going to continue with ratio. You will find this on page 37 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Find an unknown quantity if a ratio is given and one outcome. Remember, they will not give you the total, but the ratio and one outcome. Let's look at an example. A motorbike uses petrol and oil mixing the ratio 13 to 2. How much petrol would be mixed with 500 milliliter of oil? Okay, petrol, oil, write down the ratio, 13 to 2. Underneath oil, put the 500. So with what must I multiply 2 to get 500? You can also do the reverse. 500 divided by 2 will give you 250. So I must multiply with 250. Now if I multiply this side or this number with 250, then I must also multiply this side or this number with 250. And then I come to the answer, 3250. So I will need 3250 milliliter of petrol. Okay. I want you to stop. I want you to stop and do number one and three. Stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. Try now 43. And we're going to start with number one. Apples and oranges in a fruit bowl are divided in the ratio of 3 to 7. There are 30 apples. How many oranges are there? Okay, so first write down apples and oranges. Now write down the ratio, 3 to 7. So that the one they mentioned first will be the first one, apples. The one mentioned second will be the second one, oranges. There are 30 apples. Okay, so underneath apples, write 30. So with what must I multiply this 3 to go to 30? I must multiply with 10. And if I multiply this side with 10, with what will I multiply this side? Also with 10. And that will bring me an answer of 70. So let's just on it nice. Therefore, 70 oranges. Okay, let's look at number 3. The scale of a map is 1 to 25,000. Two villagers are, are 8 centimeters apart on the map. How far apart are they in real life? Give your answer in kilometers. Okay. So the scale of the map is 1 to 25,000. You can say this is the map and this is real life. Okay. Two villagers are 8 centimeters. No, this cannot be real life. This is on the map. So this is 8 centimeters. So with what did I multiply this one to come to 8? I multiply it with 8. So if I multiply this side with 8, with what will I multiply this side also with 8? And if I multiply this with 8, I will get an answer of 2. But remember, this was in centimeter, so this will also be seen in centimeter. Now we don't talk like this. This is in, in real life. If two places, we don't say this amount of centimeters apart. So let's, let's just quickly write down our table. Can you still remember? Kilometers, meters, centimeters, millimeters. And then it was three zeros, two zeros, one zero. Going to this side, multiply, going back, divide. So I want to go from centimeters and I want to go to kilometers. So I must divide by a hundred and divide by a thousand. So actually I must divide by five zeros. So if I divide by a hundred and a thousand, then I will, okay, this is the hundred, this is the thousand, and then I will say uh, it's two kilometers apart. So uh, how far apart are they in real life? They, oh, let's just take our normal pin. They are two kilometers apart. And that's your final answer. 